Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. We begin with some new information tonight on the ambush and attempted assassination of a powerful political player and owner of Ohika Castle. It's a case of high interest and intrigue on the lavish Gold Coast of Long Island's North Shore. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan with the hunt for the would-be castle killer as the victim recovers in the hospital tonight. Every visitor who came to the hospital to see Gary Melius was swarmed by the media, eager for an update on the larger-than-life owner of Ohika Castle, from judges and politicians to leaders of the Shinnecock Indian Nation. He's a gentleman that spreads his love and his wealth to everybody, no matter who you are. Friends describe a bandaged head of Gary Melius, a wound to the temple and scalp. As Melius entered his Mercedes on the valet lot of the Gold Coast French Chateau, we have learned the gunman's weapon may have misfired. Of three possible shots, just one hit the prominent political patron. He says he's lucky to be alive. Quote, if this near-death experience has done anything, it is a reminder to live each day, celebrate life, and embrace your family. Lead investigators who returned to interview Melius today say police are not releasing the surveillance video that captured the attack of the masked gunman, nor will they give details on the fleeing vehicle at this time. One source says police may be close to zeroing in on that. Checkpoints went up near the castle in search of more witnesses. Who could have done this to a philanthropist who gave to and lavishly entertained politicians on both sides of the aisle? Gary, in, in politics, is not a mean-spirited guy, and uh, you know, I, I'm convinced and sure it's it's not political. If not political, was it meant as a message for Amelia's family member or because Amelia's was in financial debt? No, says his attorney, Ron Rosenberg. The person who did this is a very sick and disturbed and criminal individual, and uh, there was nothing that Gary uh, could have done uh, that would warrant any kind of activity of this nature. The shooter wore a mask and a sweatshirt pulled up, according to police, and fled in a four-door SUV. Gary Melius says he is eager to leave here and return home to the castle. From Manhasset, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And in the past decade, Gary Melius and his wife Pam have donated nearly a million dollars to local, state, and federal political campaigns.